Hey YouTube, SS Raptor Gaming here with some more Minecraft Feed the Beast Insanity. And I have darkness. Why do I have darkness? I don't know why. Oh, it's probably because it's nighttime. Where's my bed? Oh yeah, I went boom. Oh well. So what I have um, done is I have made these are all the rubber trees and I am trying to get the rubber out of them. Because I like rubber. And probably what I'm going to end up um, doing with my rubber and stuff is make some actual materials and I'm just going to make sure this guy knows about sticky resin and I'm pretty sure he knows about copper already. So sticky resin has an EMC value of 24 which is fairly good. And that is actually going to be a nice little thing to keep handy of. And actually, I believe, um, actually there are other things that like give you sticky resin, like, yeah, like you can get some other fun things. But first things first with this, I'm going to actually put away my tree tap. But, now uh, I only have like three sticky resin. I'm going to fix that, actually, because... That's what I really need to do right now, is fix the amount of sticky resin I have, and I believe I can... There we go. S couple. We got a bunch. And let's just burn up these um, mob drops. And give me a couple stacks of sticky resin now. Alright. See, that mob farm is very good. So I have a couple stacks of sticky resin. going to row probably about stack in there just to cook up and get it rubberfied which is actually what I really want is I need rubber so with the rubber the uses of rubber in this um, thing I don't really want that I want the uses of the rubber so I can make insulated cabling I can make normal cabling um, rubber boots, copper cables, H V cables, so mostly cables that I can make. Have it now, a lot of the times I use um, copper cables, so, which is used in a lot of the actual machines in that, and actually one thing I am going to hopefully try to do is, let's see if I can get the, this again, and I want that uses a view and actually one thing I want is fairly early on is I'm going to try making it it's probably going to benefit me and that's the crop the crop analyzer right there which I'm going to want going to want another energy so I'm going to want a crop matron so and of course a solar array. So uh, that means macerator. We actually can't make a macerator. Because there's a lackage of flint here. I think I don't think I can get flint anyhow. Actually, yes I can. There is a way to get flint. I just remembered about it. Okay. It's an interest I can actually make flint, which is pretty cool. I take four of these. and turn all of them into sand. Turn the sand into sandstone and sandstone can get turned into I'm gonna teach this guy to my trans table now, I mean now that has an EMC value. But sandstone once placed down can actually turn into gravel. So I basically made flint from cobblestone. So now that I have gravel, which is actually somewhat useful now, except I need to figure out how to make flint. There's got to be more uses for gravel. It's like I can cobble some structure pipe. No, I don't want that. It can macerate it, which I needed actually. That's the bad part. So more once I get the um, flint out of this guy, it's going to be 
probably more beneficial for me, and I'm actually gonna try grabbing about a handful of this by by burning up all of you and getting about 17 pieces of gravel. There and increasing my possibility of getting at least one piece of flint from all 17. And there it is. There's actually my first piece of flint. Same EMC value as the rest of it. So, just going to convert it one to one for flint. 17 pieces of flint. Now, the uses of flint, I can make flint and steel, which is useful. Arrows. Or I can make a macerator. So, to make a macerator, you need three flint, machine block, electronic circuit, and machine block. So, I need... Iron, refined iron. Actually, I'm going to need a lot of that stuff there, so. And I should also make a generator first, so. I need a lot of iron for this. Which is fun, because. Iron. Is somewhat of a. Necessity in this map, but it is also. One of probably the most hey, in this style map, they use a lot of um. There's a lot of like rubber you or um iron, and especially the industrial style mods. So you don't also have like bunch of iron every all the time. So I need like a bunch of iron. It's actually more useful to have iron in here than to have a diamond. Sometimes it's like it's just how much you actually use it. It's insane. But nine pieces of iron, that's not good, but oh well. And you're still making your thing. Alright, so I think what I actually need to do is I need to somehow work on my resource pool and in order to do that I need Actually, no, I do need this, so. It's good. I'm going to actually try duplicating my diamond here, which. I actually really need, like, two diamonds, so. I'm going to. Yeah, I need to, like, do just diamonds, so let's. Just put some more stuff in here. Hoping I can dupe it. That gunpowder just saves me half the time. And then I, that's gonna not do much, but I'm glad that I get like creepers and stuff in there because those things have some very good EMC values with their um, gunpowder. This is just waiting up for some of my um, rubber to cook up so I can make some actual stuff here. So I need roughly, say, three rows of that and then I make uh, 12, 13, 14, 15 s actually better idea better idea uh, that alright so if I just take this and go like that like that I get about that's how many. Alright, I can only make 36 of those, but that's. No problem. I mean, that's like how many I can make, so. 42, okay. So with that, I guess I'll make a generator. Which is. Basically, furnace machine block rechargeable battery, or an iron furnace, which I can use this guy. Because I need to. I'm going to actually figure out, I'm going to work on serving some of my resources here, so gonna because I am on a little bit of an iron s shortage, and I am going to need that um, what's the mahuzits soon, so iron furnace plus, what else do I need to make the generator? An iron furnace, three refined iron, and a battery. I can't make that. I cannot. I don't have tin. I, all I have is copper. 
So, what do they expect me to do with this material if I don't have copper? If I don't have tin now, what was I? What am I trying to go after again? It's um, burn rubber, which is over here. Okay. I love the fact that I just got all this fun things. Okay. Oh, blood, sweat, and tears is this one. Can't do blood, sweat, and tears. I could do burn rubber. Is this is in the order that they give me. Alright. I can make this stuff, yes. Wait. Can I even make it MFE? Can't charge it, but I can probably make it. Yeah, I can make that. And I can be happy that I can make it, but I can. A miner. Macerator, it's Tesla coil, crop matron, and a compressor. Why? It's not like I. I want to be able to make this stuff and have a use for it, so. E L. E L E. Alright, so I am going to need to make a bunch of these electronic circuits. How many of them? Do I even need to make one for this? No, I don't, but I, I do, but I don't. Okay. An electronic circuit is like the core of a lot of the IC2 um, builds. Like, a lot of the things require that, so. Instead of me just waiting around to for that to happen, I'm going to actually just put it in this crafting table thing. Or make another auto-crafting one for that and I believe it's something like that. Just need one. And then I just figure out what else I need. But the order for this um, is basically six copper cables, redstone, and a piece of refined iron in the center. Which I am going to have to automate some system to make refined iron quite effectively because I mean even though I'm getting these mob drops I cannot make refined iron too effectively it's actually very hard for me to make that it's just pain I'm gonna need this as well um, actually I could probably make just a handful of refined iron just so I can have it on me I should grab one more actually. And I just need one, two diamonds. Yeah, I only need one of those. And put you in there. Okay. So there it is. There's all my fine iron coming out. That is like the main sort of thing in there that is actually used is a lot of electronic circuits so that's going to help me quite a bit in the long run making that project table but still it's not the best and I believe I just need to make this guy he's going to help me also out but really I still even though I have all of this stuff here I need to be able to automate and get a lot of EMC extremely efficient and fast, which is fairly hard to do currently in this build. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out how to make some sort of actual... F it's not going to be a forestry farm, but I still need a farm to start off with, and I have to start off with um, probably a seed farm because or a wheat farm because I can't really make much else other than shrooms which actually would help me a lot more if I made shrooms but <laughs> I can actually make a dark room for shrooms and do it like that way which would be interesting but in order to make some of this stuff here such as the forestry farm so Susu farm like 
just generic pumpkin farm, pumpkin melon farm. I need pumpkins, melons, and arboretum. Arboretum requires gold, glass, and a sturdy machine, which requires bronze. If you want to make bronze, you smelt bronze dust, which combines copper and tin dust, or you can go with the forestry. I basically need tin. Tin is what I need. And I can't get tin until, probably until I complete that challenge. But I think that's what would be a good way to go about doing this. I am getting a decent amount of stuff from that farm there, but it's still, I don't feel it's enough to suit it to make me feel that I am like resource use I mean I have this block breaker combined with this but it's not really doing as much as it really I want it to and I mean it's basically generating cobble. So I'm gonna actually make a nice large area out here for a farm and I'll be right back. Alright, and I am back, and I have an idea to, of what to do to get a lot of resources fairly, hopefully fairly easily. It involves not my torches going to my cobble chest, but it involves eh, somewhat a lot of stuff, so hopefully I can get enough resources to begin with to have this work. So we're going to pray that I can do this. Um, I have had that EM, that guy running for a while, so, I should be able to, yep, take up all this stuff, get, getting all of this. Wrong chest, but oh well. There we go. Not too bad of a conversion. Keeping a diamond in there. So, what I'm planning on doing over here is I'm going to need probably I could do another block breaker set up because that is one of the only ways I can actually make any sort of EMC thing but that does require pistons redstone and such which is not fun to make. There are Farms, I can actually make the literal, literal farms, but it's. But I'm confined only to the use of seeds. I do have the hives, but I believe they only give me hives. So. The hives don't really have a use for me right now. Not yet. There are. A rainmaker, I don't want that. Um, let me look. Construction foam, bat boxes, mining pipes, pipes not so much. I wish you guys had something. I think what I'd probably do is maybe because a lot of this stuff here involves a lot of I'm not gonna really work with um too much of the advanced build craft stuff. Like that is like diamonds and obsidian and redstone. I can make that actually, but I need like the good pipes and all that stuff. So it's not really useful to be using the advanced build craft stuff until I can actually optimize. I mean the gears and stuff, I mean I have to wait. Decayed wheat, moldy wheat. Okay, that's like just other things than um forestry, okay. I'm just like, some of the stuff is cool. Um, it's like, be an analyzer, can't really do much with the, that stuff there. Pulsating dust, honeycomb, apiary. Sewing machine, portal guns are actually fun, but. I can make that, but I don't want to get too carried away with the portal gun mod, it's more for fun and not really for using to what I have to. I mean, an alchemical tome would be very nice, but that is a lot more later on in my in the series to make <laughs> that. And I have to fi I basically have to figure out a good way to get a lot of materials from here 
and basically be able to collect them easily and to be able to use them effectively. And I am fairly confined to deployers, block breakers, and that's about it. So things I could do are make a f I can't make a fancy axe anytime soon, so I can't make a snow actually I can make snow. And that's one thing I can make. I can get snow. I just can't make a snowman. That actually will help me, I think. Because there is a snow biome actually out this way. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a snow machine and I'm actually going to need a rainmaker or something along those lines to make this. I mean, this is a plains biome right here. And I'm going to actually need my torches again. So this is getting dark out and I do need light and I am running low on food wherever my bread went. Don't know where all my bread went. Actually, it's disappeared on me. I don't know why. There's all my torches, but where'd my bread go? That's what I want to know. Here, how much was bread? It was like... Give me bread. You have wheat. I want bread in here. Come on, how much? Alright, it's, it's more than 64. I think it was like 71. There we go, 72 for a piece of bread. That is sad, but oh well. Um, I think what I want to do is... Bones directly to bread. Yep, that works. Somewhat. For now, that works. I have no idea where you spawned. I gotta figure out how to keep these guys away from me, because these guys annoy me. And I don't have my sword on me, that's in like the chest behind me. I give me my sword. I'm that's where you guys are spawning. And no. Oh god. Get away. Actually, this is probably the worst place for that creeper to blow. Haha. -ha. No, no, no. Haha, <laughs> only two pieces missing. Right, let's start this thing up. You keep this up and I'll be like the crazy torch person. There you go. That should be more than enough torches. Let's grab a couple of... I like he's not a guy, but there is actually a um, snow biome out here, which is actually going to be hopefully fairly useful to me, because I can actually use block breakers and actually set those on pretty insane tick speeds and get materials, but I can't really get a pumpkin easily, so that's going to be a problem here, getting a pumpkin. Here we are, tiger biome, we just started, so this... Alright, so this block I'm standing on is the start of Taiga. So, I'm just gonna still keep this thing fairly plains. Taiga, okay. Hey, you're plains still, okay. So I'm like right on the border of the Taiga plains bomb right here, so. 
Okay, I, I'm still on. This is all Taiga. 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 It's kind of interesting how this Taiga biome works, but I have at least. No, you're not allowed to be in. The, you're not allowed to be in the tiger biome. But here it's going to be mostly for in terms of snow and still no snow. So it's like one. I'm just going to make this probably a couple. Well, I'm just making a lot of platforms right now. It's just platform city now. It's just like expansion into other biomes and figure out what to do with what I've got because I don't have enough resources to get good good toys of fun I'm not allowed to have fun because I don't have toys I have a dark room which doesn't give me much which I really should automate which I cannot automate with um actually I might. That's the bad part, is I might be able to, if I can look up the logistics pipes. Basic logistics. Oh wow, that's gold gears now, thank god. Red diamond transport pipe. Um, how much? Not too awful bad, I mean it's awful bad, but for what I would get logistics pipes. Oh wait, no, I need um dark room. I'd need a supplier. No, I need not a request, but I need probably crafting satellite supplier. Yeah, so I need lapis in there, or I can use like the chassis, and then probably I'd have to use the chip sets. Which would be fairly expensive, actually. I think it's like here. The item sync module. How much is that? I T. Yeah, I need like some weird stuff in these. So logistics is out of the question. Um, red power is out of the question because I can't get clay. can get, if I can get some mossy stone, that'd be fun for a nice little system. I mean, and there's no way I can pump out enough materials from, I, there's no way I can really pump out the materials with the redstone engine fast enough, so that's the downside to the majority of these systems I'd be probably thinking of making right now, because that I can't make because of, um, the lack, I mean, I can't make a logistics system for a dark room. It's fairly impossible right now. I mean, it's like, and I can fill up a, a deployer. I can make another transposer deployer setup, and that's n no big deal. That's And a deployer is, um, or a transposer itself will pick up the blocks. If I, if I actually was in the amount, it'll pick up, say, however many blocks under three by three square underneath it, which is good for what I'd be doing using it for. But that would also hinder some things. I mean, there's some things I don't like, but about it. But it's at the it's really I need the materials and I cannot wait around too long without a high source of material income and I've been just ranting on in here about like what I should do hmm. and I've not completed anything well um, I guess I can't make those but I need to make something good um, down here, what do I got? Deployer, block breaker, transposer, filter, item detector, sorting machine, battery box, frame motors, retrievers, regulators. 
Well, igniter, assembler. Ooh, those things are fun. Need brass, which the ejector is fun. It's cool, or the relay. Is the only difference a red doped wafer? I can make a red doped. No, I can't. Never mind. Um. Yeah, it's like that, and that's not. I believe with the, at least the relay, I can just like go directly from. That's like a cha an adjacent chest, or so I can easily put say diamonds. They directly go into an adjacent chest. It's actually fairly good for um a lot of the forestry stuff because it, they're designed to go in an adjacent chest. But I mean, really, I can get ooh bi biopower generator. That, that would be fun. But no, I can get like everything except for the stuff. I mean, a like an arboretum, which I need the sturdy machine. I mean, I can get rubber plantation turn it into an arboretum. But no, and I make. I need a sturdy machine, which requires bronze. Which, of course, I cannot make because I have no tin yet. It's a weird system. And I don't think my little transmutation tablet helps me. I mean, they're just getting like the cruelest of um, all challenges here. I mean, really, I have to get. A, to, a lot of iron here. It's not even funny. I mean, HV transformer. I think I need something good. HV. No, actually, I don't. I can make that. Yeah, I can. It's not that complex. But really, I mean, that's where all my stuff is going to come from. But in order to make that, I need the input. So I'm going to. Actually, yeah, I'm going to probably just do that. I think that's probably a s smart idea is doing this system. And I think what I'm going to do is you don't work with buildcraft pipes, but I can make it work with buildcraft pipes. Okay. I think I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically pause, stop the recording, see how I'm doing, and then probably tell you guys what I did. <laughs> Alright, and I am back with, yeah, with the continuation of the part of Tech It that I, or not Tech It, of um, Feed the Beast that I am playing on now. So, yeah. <laughs> I think I lost track. So, basically what I've did is I have done nothing over there. It's just torch land. I have, what I have done is I have added a lever and I have added down here I have added an actual deployer, a timer, and a piece of redstone. So what happens is the lever basically toggles what whether this timer is on or off. The timer is set to basically go at every five seconds and then deploy the deployer, which is full of bone meal, which will actually just easily to fill up the thing, and then I get this stuff. I'm getting actually some refined iron from this guy over here, so gonna see if I can get some of that in there. Should have remembered to put in the redstone, but again, forgot. So you know, yeah. Remember everything, or or else it doesn't work. And then, but yeah, this build or this challenge, I guess, is actually one of the more challenging ones in terms of materials for what you actually use. So, hopefully, um, next episode I will actually try to get to some real challenges. And yeah, 
So I'll see you guys next time, and peace out.